Hello Hammock Campers, how are you doing? What I've got here is DD's brand new super light jungle hammock. <laughs> super light jungle hammock, get me, I'm so excited about this. I already have this super light hammock which I literally take with me everywhere. It goes in the bottom of my messenger bag and I swing it out in airports, bus stops, shopping malls, festivals, anywhere you can think of. And then I've got the jungle hammock which is my go-to hammock for when I'm motorbike camping because it's super comfortable. The good thing about the jungle hammock is it has that sort of barrel shape, well this sort of barrel shape. So it's not like a traditional hammock where you have to faff around with diagonal lays and, and all that sort of nonsense. You can lie however you want. You can lie on your front, on your side, on your back. You can toss and turn during the night. I absolutely love it. So what have they done? DD, they've read my mind and taken two products that I love and combined them into this DD Superlight Jungle Hammock. It's got all the same features as the normal jungle hammock, so it's modular. This thing here, the top, doubles as a waterproof underlayer. Uh, there's a mosquito net, which is fully removable. I have it on today because there's critters flying around. Um, what else? It comes with whoopee strings attached. It weighs less than 1.5 kilo. A few slight alterations which I'll show you in a second. And those are plastic carabiners and a little bead on the whoopee sling to stop the loop from getting lost. Which is small touches but great. And also with this model uh, you have a double layer at the bottom. Here you've got Velcro together. But that's a permanently attached double layer. So in there you can put your insulation which uh, is reminiscent of the travel hammock which I first started out with and I found it very useful for inserting a sleeping pad or you know if you're going super light you can stuff it full of leaves uh, or your clothes or whatever that's going to keep you warm uh, without you having to carry extra kit with you so I like that this is already no doubt in my mind my new favorite hammock which is partly why I'm testing it out here in my backyard because I just couldn't wait the other reasons are I don't have a lot of free time at the moment and, and I've been making homebrew and it's ready today. Today is the day when I shall be having my first homebrew pint and maybe my second and maybe my third. So this is going to be a boozy sleepover in my backyard testing out Dee Dee's new super light jungle hammock. I normally like to do my tests out there in the wilderness but to be honest I know I'm going to like this, I already know I'm going to love it, so this is just uh, just me sort of popping its cherry. It is still freezing cold even though we're officially in British summer time, um, so I'm using the Dura 2 sleeping bag which I tested on in the last video and the DD underquilt as insulation and I'm going to see how they compare to the last time when I, when I was in the normal jungle hammock, how warm that's going to keep me. So, I'll give you a quick close-up of the new mods at the Whoopi Sling and then I will let you go. Okay, so here are the normal metal DD carabiners. These are attached to the under blanket. I have an issue with these in that they break quickly and easily. The gate doesn't spring back. I think they use a weak spring in there. So I'm hoping that the new beaners... This is the new carabiner. It's a plastic construction with a metal gate and I'm hoping it's better quality because I want it to last. Okay this is the bead I was telling you about in the whoopee sling loop next to the tunnel so if you were to pull the whoopee sling really tight that bead's going to stop you from losing the loop. It's, it's a nice little touch. I haven't had that on any of the other hammocks they've sent. Well, as you can see, the weather forecast wasn't wrong. It did rain all night and it's been raining all day. So, uh, I'm a bit late making this video, but I didn't want my camera gear to get ruined. <clears throat> Everything's a little wet on the outside. I'm going to just show you around uh, and show you how dry it actually is inside. So, give me a second to get behind the camera. So, it's very wet on the top. And on the ends, and actually, if you come around this side, you'll see that it was, was starting to gather. I've got a nice little puddle there, which I'm just going to clear. Uh, 
now overnight I'm quite happy to just give that a push to clear it off um, but I've been back at home inside while it's been raining all day so that's gathered quite a lot but let me just show you inside it's still really dry there's no water came in anywhere it was nice and cozy and warm the there's a damp patch on the under quilt which is just from where it's sort of run off the side um, but that didn't soak through obviously that under quilt has a waterproof lining as well exterior so that didn't soak through so it was warm and dry inside there so this test was a bit more thorough than I expected because the rain was a lot heavier uh, than I anticipated it would be uh, and in the pack you get a sheet of guidelines telling you how to set it up and giving you hints and tips and one of those things that it mentions is uh, if you're expecting heavy rain this tarp is probably not going to be good enough you need a proper tarp uh, well actually it did well the inside of the hammock is nice and dry uh, so <laughs> I'm, st I'm still going to stick with the recommendation if you think it's going to be heavy rain take a proper tarp with you because it's better to be safe than sorry um, but I had the luxury obviously of if it did get wet in here I could just run inside and go home to my bed um, and I didn't need to do that. I had a nice sleep. It was good. Uh, I kept this on because it was still really cold um, but I think the rain clouds helped raise the temperature a little bit so it, yeah I wasn't uncomfortable at any point. Uh, yeah so that's that. Uh, sorry this is such a quick short blustery video but it is still raining out here and I'm worried about my camera gear. Uh, what I'm going to do for the next video is just remind you guys how easy it is to set one of, the, one of these jungle hammocks up on the ground as a bivvy. So look out for that shortly. Over and out.